Hey, what's going on everyone? How are you guys doing today? Welcome back to another Steam 2 video. And today we're going to be talking about the mountaintop. More specifically, some tips for getting the mountaintop. I know the quest for the mountaintop can be a pretty frustrating quest. It has to be like, one of the hardest quests in the game. So in this video, we're going to be going over some tips that hopefully are going to make your experience with the quest a lot easier and also a lot less frustrating. That's basically the main goal of this video, to make the quest a lot less frustrating since every time somebody thinks of this quest, frustration is probably the first word that pops into their mind when they think about it because it is quite a frustrating quest. But anyways, we're mostly going to be talking about three different things in this video. The first one is going to be choosing a grenade launcher. We're going to be going over the perks that you should be looking for in your grenade launcher and also different loadouts to run to get this quest stops done. After that, we're going to be talking about getting the double kills. I know a lot of you guys are going to be interested in this part. We're going to be going over different tips and different loadouts that you should try out so you can get the double kills faster and what playlist is the best to actually get them. And the last thing we're going to be talking about in this video is the trajectory medals. Where to get them what is the most effective way to get them and also what is the grenade launches that you should be using to get them but without further ado now let's get started with the first thing which is going to be choosing the right grenade launchers all right so let's talk about the grenade launchers and we're going to be looking at the two legendary ones that we can get currently with random rolls there's one for the kinetic slot and one for the special slot for the kinetic slot is the malicious spurt right that you get from the lake of shadows nightfall and for this special slot is the Orwind Small, which you get from the Iron Banner, which is still going on right now, so you can still probably get a couple more rolls on this thing. And the main thing that you want to keep in mind when choosing a grenade launcher, or at least the two stats that matter the most, are the blast radius and the velocity. You want to keep a pretty high blast radius with your grenade launcher, since having a bigger blast radius with the grenade launcher is going to make it more likely that you're actually going to do some damage to somebody. Even if you're not directly on them, if you're not going to hit them with a direct hit and one-shot them, you'll still be able to put in some damage. Not a lot of damage, maybe like 50 damage, but it's going to make the follow-up shot just a lot easier so you can actually get some kills. So that's why you want some good blast videos and the extra velocity just makes it a lot easier to hit people since they won't have as much time to actually move out of the way. So that's why you also want some velocity. So just keep that in mind, you don't really want anything that reduces blast radius or velocity. So no concussion grenades or no blinding grenades. Since they reduce the blast radius by just a ton, they just destroy it. And since we're talking about perks not to get, we're also going to throw proximity grenades in there. Proximity grenades used to be one of the best perks that you could get. But they got a nerf some time ago that the grenade launcher can no longer one hit if you have some proximity grenades. So even if you're going to direct impact them, it won't be a one shot because of proximity grenades. So that's why you don't want to use them. Okay, so now let's actually talk about the perks that you should be looking for for these grenade launchers. And there's a couple. And the very first thing that we're going to be talking about is quick draw. It's going to give you super handling on your grenade launcher, making it ready up faster after you sprint, switching to the weapon faster, and just overall making the weapon feel a lot better. If you're going to be a madman, and use the triple grenade launcher loadout to do your mountain top, then quick draw something that you definitely are gonna want so you can switch between grenade launchers a lot faster. And even if you're not really doing that, you switching between weapons faster, it's just a very good thing. So I would definitely recommend quick draw. After that we have a best assassin, and this one it can only roll on the militia, it's the only grenade launcher in the game that can actually get this perk, which is quite a shame since this perk is just amazing. This perk allows you to put two grenades into the magazine after getting a kill. Meaning that you're going to be able to fire the weapon twice without actually having to reload. And this makes this grenade launcher super strong, makes getting kills a lot easier, and it also makes the possibility of getting double kills use a lot more likely since you don't have to reload. So Ambitious Assassin is definitely a perk that you should be looking for on your militia. Really try to go for the Ambitious Assassin perk. I really wish more grenade launchers could actually get this, but unfortunately they cannot. Next up we have auto loading holster. This will automatically reload your grenade launcher once you put it away. This is really good, it can roll on both of your grenade launchers. When you really take advantage of this to the maximum level is when you run, again, the triple launcher. 
Lion plus an auto loading holster militia is just ridiculously strong. You fire the lion, finish off an enemy with the militia, switch back to the lion since you're now auto reloaded thanks to the kill, and when you put away your militia, it's gonna auto reload itself. So basically, this allows you to never really have to reload as long as you keep getting kills and you out of reloading your fighting lion. Out of loading holster is a super strong perk on these grenade launchers, especially if you are trying to damage the enemy first before you go for the grenade launcher kills or with a triple nade launcher like I used said. So those are the perks that I think that you should be looking for. Those are definitely the top tier perks. There's not many for the grenade launchers. There's a couple of other good ones like rangefinder and grave robber, but they are not as good as these ones that I just talked about, I think. Now for a little, let's talk about the Fighting Lion. The Fighting Lion, it can be pretty amazing due to the fact that it uses primary ammo and also due to the fact that you can actually run it with another grenade launcher for the legendary triple grenade launcher. I know, I keep bringing up the triple grenade launcher, but it's just because it's really strong to get these quest steps done, but it can also be a very frustrating loadout if you're not comfortable with grenade launchers. So that's never something that I would recommend to new people to grenade launchers, since that's just gonna make them hate grenade launchers even more. But the main purpose that I look at the Fighting Lion for is more of a learning tool. The Fighting Lion can really help you get better with grenade launchers. Mostly because of all the ammo that you have with the grenade launcher, meaning that you don't really have to worry that you are running out of ammo and uh, maybe you shouldn't take the shot because maybe you don't kill anybody. You can pretty much just spam to your heart's content and get a lot more practicing with grenade launchers. Get a lot more used to the arc on the grenade launchers. Get a lot more used to just air bursting the grenades, which is something that people at the beginning don't tend to do too often. That's basically the biggest thing that you wanna get used to with the grenade launchers. Use the way they feel and air bursting with them. So even if you miss, you can still get a bit of damage in, so the second shot will actually finish them off. So if you're new to the grenade launchers, the fighting line is going to be your friend, and is what's going to teach you the way of the grenade launcher. So put it on, and just mess around with it. Alright, so now let's talk about the double kills. This is definitely the step that's going to take the longest, and your best bet for this one is going to be the heavy grenade launchers. And basically, there's not much I can say about the heavy grenade launchers. You just need some blast radius, and basically you just need the high ground. The high ground makes it a lot easier to actually be able to kill them, or kill someone effectively with a grenade launcher. Jumping on top of them and just firing down, it's a very easy way to get one or two kills. The colony is what really sticks out to me, and the thing that helped me get all my double kills. The colony is amazing for getting the double kills. Something that you will have to do with the colony is basically having no regard for your life. If you really want those double kills, you will look past your KD for a second and you will do anything to get those double kills, including running into the enemy spawn, spamming all five colony shots and getting two or three people. And that's basically what I did and I got my double kills done really quickly. You just wanna camp the heavy as hard as you can, set up your tent, and that heavy becomes your territory. If anybody steps into that heavy spot, you kill them. Put on your best primary weapons and just defend the heavy with your life so you can always pick it up, so you can always have just a very good chance of getting double kills. So I would definitely recommend the colony. As soon as you see two dots or more in the map, that's when you run in there, fire all your shots, and if you could get away, that's a plus. But if you don't, as long as you get the double kill, it was worth it. When it comes to the playlist where you want to do this, you get extra points in the competitive playlist. But in the competitive playlist, there's also a lower chance of getting double kills. So because of that, I actually recommend quick play to the double kills. You get a little bit less per double kill, but you do get double kills a lot more often, as long as you're camping that heavy. There's also a bigger chance that people are going to be right next to each other, that you're gonna find two enemies close enough for you to get a double kill. So they use happen a lot more often, and you're gonna see a lot more of them. But there's an exception to this, and that is if you're in low level comp. 
If you're still in low level comp, if you haven't leveled up a lot during the season, since I know the season you started recently, this is the perfect time for you to finish your mountain top. If you are 1000 glory or below, this is the perfect place to do it. And you basically do the same thing that I said for quick play, just camp the heavy, make the heavy your territory, and then when you see one or two dots in the map, that's when you spam your heavy and hopefully kill them. And that's the way that you're gonna get your double kills. There's a couple of other methods, like the tether for the hunters. You could tether two enemies, fire your grenade launcher at them, and if it's a direct hit, it will do enough damage to kill both of them, giving you a double kill. For the warlocks, there's the Luna faction fighting lion. You set on the rift and basically spam, and it's a pretty easy way to get some doubles or triples if people are around the corner, since you just put out so many grenades that it's hard not to get some kills. And for the titans, something similar with the fighting lion and the rally barricade. Use that maybe even better, since you actually do have some cover with the rally barricade. But I think that you should pair these cheesy strategies with you basically camping the heavy. You set up with your rev or with your rally barricade close to the heavy, and while you're waiting for the heavy, use those strategies and try to get some extra double kills just to make the thing go by faster. So just combine them both and really focus on the double kills. Now for the medals. And the medal, in case you guys don't know, is basically just getting a 3 kill streak or getting 3 kills in a single life with your grenade launcher. And for this one, the strongest loadout that there is, without a doubt, it is the triple grenade launcher. Just because there's no other way to get kills but the grenade launcher, so if you manage to get 3 kills, that's basically a medal. But for you guys that are not running the triple grenade launcher, you want to run your normal grenade launcher and basically just try to get the heavy as much as you can. Just try to use the grenade launcher quite a lot, just to put out damage or just spam into a group of enemies. Fighting Lion is great for the spamming and also you could do a bit of damage with your primary weapon and then go for a follow up finishing kill with the grenade launcher. This is usually what you want to go for in your pairing up a grenade launcher with something like a hand cannon. Put a hand cannon shot into someone, then shoot them with the grenade launcher, and that should be a pretty easy kill. Finding Lion plus a hand cannon, I think is going to be the easiest way, just because if you spam the fighting line quite a lot, you can just make the fighting line your primary weapon if you really want to, since you have so much ammo, so you can usually go for double taps with the fighting line. Want to get them low, I want to actually kill them. But the medals are mostly just going to come to you as you're trying to do the double kills, basically. <laughs> Most of the time, you're going to finish the medals before you finish the double kills. Just because that's the way it goes. <laughs> that's usually the way it goes. When it comes to playlists to actually get the medals, the competitive playlist is definitely where it's going to be for this one. The medals you get in competitive are just worth a lot more than the ones that you get in quick play. So I would highly recommend that you do it in competitive if you're in some low level comp. But if it's something that definitely is not going to happen in competitive, maybe you're a little bit too high and also you haven't used grenade launchers a lot, then quick play is going to be your best option since it's probably going to be easier to get the medals there. Since it doesn't matter how much more the medals are worth it in competitive, if you can't really get any medals. So just choose the one that you think that you're going to get the most medals in and that should be basically how you finish this part of the quest. But anyways guys, with that we're going to end today's video. Hopefully this video has helped you learn something. And hopefully you will actually get the mountain top soon. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel in case you guys aren't already. If you think somebody else may find this video useful, make sure to share it with them. Anyways, thank you all for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care everyone. Have a good day. Enemy down.